Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and this is another look into the settings app that we are going um, option by option, setting by setting almost. And of course, there will be more detailed videos of specific settings after we go through all of the settings panel so that you guys get acquainted with it. Once again, to go to the settings panel, you go into the quick actions on the bottom right and you have all settings, or you can click the start menu go into the settings and basically here we are looking today at devices and mouse so in here there's a few settings for the mouse and uh, one of them is first of all if you're left hand right hand you of course will want to select your primary click button so that's the first setting at the top the left or the right button and uh, this is, of course, a setting that often you want to change, especially if you're left-handed. Often you want to have the right button as a primary button instead. Then you've got cursor speed. Of course, you see my speed here. If I put this higher, let's say here, now my speed is faster for the same movement. If I take the same, put it lower here, for the same movement, it's going to be, of course, a less of a speed so depending on what you want to have you will choose that and the mouse remember if you're using a touchpad or a trackpad it's on the other setting we'll see that in the next video roll the mouse wheel to scroll so of course there's a little uh, scrolling wheel on most mice today basically what you'll do is um, choose all many lines or pages you want to go through so the multiple lines at a time is of course dependent on how you want to scroll in a page or in a window you of course have also choose how many lines to scroll each time which gives you a speed of scrolling up and down or even you know in some cases left and right while you're using the scrolling wheel but if you don't want to scroll through certain lines you would like to just change page then you can change this option and say one screen at a time, which means it actually will revert to the next screen. So in a very long web page, for example, you'll go screen by screen with the page as you scroll rather than going line or several lines at a time. So depending on how you want to use that option, you choose the favorite option that you want. And of course, uh, the option also goes if you use lines, how many lines you want to scroll at a time. And finally, scroll inactive windows when I hover over them. What's that mean? See, um, often you have you know several windows open. What happens is there's a window when you actually. So let let me just give an example here by opening the browser. Let's say I'm here and I will lower this like this. So this is the main window. It's the one that is actually active right now, and you see it because it's uh, highlighted in the taskbar. And if I move on to this window here, and let's make this one smaller so both of them can be together, you notice that now my settings are the ones that I'm actually using. So what does that mean? It means that um, if I am in a specific window, that's the one my mouse controls. But if scroll inactive windows, when I hover over them happens, it means you can now, and you see it, I can actually scroll now through the other window even though it's not the active window if I turn this off when I go to the other window that's not the active window it will not scroll now I'm using a trackpad so it doesn't work but in a, with a mouse you would not be able to scroll to that page anymore because this is off so it depends on the way that you want to work the way that we work with PCs we all have a different way of actually working but it gives you a, a possibility of scrolling an inactive window if you wish to uh, do so. Don't forget that on the right side of your screen you've got more options. Adjust mouse and cursor size. That's We'll see that in another, um, another setting. And additional mouse options. Some uh, mice, some mouses have their own um, options that are available also. And here you have mouse properties that pops up when you do additional mouse options. This has more options that you can actually check out, including pointers, pointer speed, and so on. So there's a lot of stuff that you can check it out here. 
uh, if you go to additional mouse options. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.